Today we are making black double chocolate chip cookies. Come on in, welcome to my home. Today we are going to make double chocolate chocolate chip cookies. These are so easy to make. Anybody can make them. I have my oven preheated to 375 degrees. You can have these prepared for when people come over. We're going to start by mixing up our dry ingredients, the flour, baking soda, and the black chocolate. Now you can use regular chocolate, but I like to use the black chocolate simply because it's just, it takes less of it. It's really wonderful. Now the, the recipe is down below in the description as are links to the products that I'm using. So yeah, that's really good. Then we're going to take our butter and our sugar. Now the butter should be softened, not melt it. It's really hot. Put those into the bowl and mix. Now what I like to do is I like to add my pinch of sea salt now. Then I'll add my eggs. Sort of one at a time, but we'll do what we can. Vanilla. Now if you want to make your own vanilla, hit that card. It will teach you how to make your own vanilla. I always use my own homemade vanilla because it is so good. Now I'm going to take my barely mixed up flour mixture. And I'm slowing this way down. And we are going to just dump that in. Do not overmix that. <laughs> now what you're going to do is you're going to add your chocolate chips. And I'm using pecans. You could use walnuts. You could use whatever. All right. Now I'm going to raise this up. Scrape. Now don't you worry, those of you who are... Uh, peanut butter chocolate lovers like myself. I got you covered. I totally have you covered. Now I'm going to take my cookie scoop and just drop those, leaving some space because they will spread out, onto my silicone line pan. You could use parchment paper, whatever you have. I like a nice big cookie. Now I'm going to take these over to the oven, bake them for about eight to 10 minutes or until they're just slightly done, you know, like done. <laughs> then we'll take them out and let them cool. All right, I let my cookies cool for a few minutes. Now we're just going to take them off and finish cooling them on the cookie rack. You're gonna to want to cool your cookies completely before you try to eat them. All right, our cookies are all done. They're cooled. I'm telling you right now, even cooled, these things are ooey gooey. And I mean wonderfully gooey. Let's give it a taste. Those are so good. And my fingers are covered in chocolate. These are rich and super chocolate, just sweet enough. The black chocolate, I think, really helps make it. If you haven't tried black chocolate, I highly recommend it. Now, if you make these, let me know. You can get a hold of me on most social media at Sam Coleman Home. I would really love to know what you think about these. And I hope I get to see you again when you come back next time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can share it. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the other videos on this channel. I love making these videos for you, and I hope I get to see you again next time.